Hello, YouTube. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and today we have a package from Amazon. And if you guys did not read the title, then for context, this is a body pillow cover. So let's uh, get it to open. I am opening it like this because on the other side is shipping information. And it's not particularly anything that I'd like to share with the class. So. Yeah, you can see there where I had it open to check and see what it was because admittedly I actually forgot that I had ordered this. <laughs> um just ignore that I did that. Um Alright, well mishaps aside here is what we got. <laughs> now might be wondering what it is, which I will <laughs> show you all. Um, but you guys know how I um go on those Amazon listings where it's like, um, you know, like put whatever image on a body pillow cover. Yeah, so well. I I did something and <laughs> it's uh it's great um it's just um it's spread out here um don't don't take that the wrong way um Alright, so this is what we got here. Um, yeah, so on the first side, we have a Cardi, my beloved. It just, just look at him, isn't he great? Um, yeah, full view here. Um, yeah. And on the other side... We have, uh, put that over here, uh, <laughs> look, it's Vitrino. Boop. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yes, it is Vitrino, my favorite mentally ill priest. Looks quite fine, if I do say so myself. Um, but, uh, yeah, before, I know there is going to be somebody who asks, okay? And I'm just going to say it for the record. I am a man of, actually, I'm not even a man. I'm a, uh, I don't know. I am a entity of no morals. So do not ask a anything. Just, just don't. I'm not answering anything, man. Um, but... Yeah, now, of course, you guys might be wondering, though, you know, Jake, why are you buying another pillow cover whenever you just bought one, like, what was it, two weeks ago, I think it was? Um, yeah, well, it's because I have, let me show you guys, um, oops, this pillow here. Um, 
It does have a cover, but I'm not a big fan of the cover. Um, yes, now this is, I don't know, can I say it's Peyton V's? I don't remember, but, um, yeah, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I also am not sh Oh, yeah. We're not going to show that. I forgot. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah, like, honestly, I just think, though, that... <laughs> first off, I need something a little bit more family-friendly for this poor pillow. Because, uh, currently, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it might end up going in the living room or somewhere else. Also, I I don't know anything about ReZero. Okay, I've never watched it. I only read two volumes of the manga, and then I gave up on it. Um, yeah, this, this pillow cover here... I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is definitely not new, okay? There is stains. I, I don't want to say what kind of stains, but there are a multitude of stains, okay? Um, I think I got this whenever I was in either 5th or 6th grade, so it's been a while, too. Yeah, I just pulled this case out of my closet because I needed something quick for this pillow, but then I decided that I might as well get another case for something that I like better. Yeah, um, we will, well, I don't have anybody else here because Peyton B is sick right now, um, by the time this is posted, we will probably not be sick anymore, but right now, I am, well, I don't have strep, but I still have a really bad cough, so I probably gave it to Peyton B. Um, yeah, now, don't ask about Vitrino, I don't know what he's doing. Alright, so... Um, yeah, let me try to get this. I hope the zipper on here is not broken because that would be bad. All right, come on. I gotta show YouTube. All right. So this pillow here, um, yeah, as you can see, it does have stains. Now that's actually because this pillow used to be on our couch. So that is over. Um, yeah, that's why it. Uh, yeah, as you can see, too, this is probably not the best kind of pillow to be putting a case on. But, honestly, I don't really like the gold stuff on here. I just, I, I don't know, it just looks kind of tacky to me. So, that's why I put case over it, um... Yeah, I don't know, guys. Is, is this holy? I don't know if, um... Yeah, see, Vitrino does not look like he approves of this. Um... Yeah, I don't think I would either. Yeah, I had a really hard time, too, like, putting the case on that one for some reason. 
So... Yeah, there's this. It will be going in the washing machine, and then... It will... Um... I don't put these in the dryer, guys. Um... I leave them out to hang. I put them over my shower because, I don't know, I think we would probably get our house burned down if somebody seen this outside of it. But, yeah, I will get things rearranged here and I will get the this case put onto this, whoops, pillow. So, yeah. All right, everyone, and we are back. Got to this thing, um, I don't want to, I don't want to say stuffed. Actually, now nah, we'll just say, okay, we got Vitrino and Accardi here stuffed. Um, yeah, man, I mean, doesn't it just look wonderful? <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, bro, I, I think these look pretty nice, uh, you know, um, <laughs> I mean, just, um, oops, uh, just look at Vitrino. <laughs> I remember paying these first reaction to, uh, Vitrino was, uh, <laughs> actually, I don't remember, but I remember the funniest thing that Payton B said regarding Vitrino was, uh, OMG, he's blind and bisexual just like me, which is so true. Actually, I don't know, man. That might be spoilers, but if you have not played 811, then I'm not very sure why you would click on a video about um this. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna explain myself, but um. I mean, just look at him, bro. Isn't he just... Uh, he's so handsome. I mean, man, I... I gotta admit, uh, okay, you know... I can't say yesterday, because by the time I post this, it would not have been yesterday. But, uh, I mean... Bro, I had a dream where... I was getting my organs rearranged by a Cardi, and I'm not gonna specify in what way. I'll, um, leave that up to interpretation, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just look at him. I, I think he's great. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know what, I thought about this in the last, not video, last body pillow, um, unpacking video I did, um, yeah, I didn't actually stand it up, um, I don't know if the last body pillow I had would have been able to then again, but... I mean, just... See, look, he can stand. Oh, gee. Just... I don't know what's going on with my floor. Just ignore that. But, um... Isn't he great? <laughs> uh... Boop. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean... How would you like to see this at 3 a.m.? I mean, I sure would. 
<laughs> All right, on to the part of the video in which I excessively pad out the video to be longer for no reason at all other than so I can ramble and throw in some info dumping because the only people who will listen to me the info dump is the people in my head. I, I mean, wait, what? Uh, um, yes, yeah, so anyway, first off, though, I have something, um, yeah. Actually, hold on, let me try to just camera before we get into any funny business here. Um, I probably just looked really stupid, me trying to just camera stand, um, okay, anyway, so I have something here, a, something great, okay, um, now you guys might recognize this, my more loyal viewers who watch both this channel and Connie's creations. I'll I'll put a link in the description. Okay, for the specific video I'm referencing with this glass here. Now, as you guys will remember, Connie's creations told me to not drink out of it. You can see the melted Hello Kitty ice cubes. Um Yes, but this is cola. Um, no, not, not the, um, superstar named Cola. This is the drink Cola. Um, I didn't have any juice. Um, I ran out. I need to go buy some. Buy me some apple juice. Maybe, um, orange juice. I'm not sure, but, um... Yeah, this this has Miralax in it, so I'm sorry. As much as I love you, Vitrino, I don't want to possibly give you diarrhea unless you also have chronic constipation. Um, okay. Well, anyway, though, I, I can't just drink this, you know, without doing something beforehand, okay? Because, um... I need this man right here, Vitrino. I need you to bless it, okay? Bless my glass, okay? And bless the drink that sits inside it. Um, please, Father. Teehee. Um. Yeah, um, okay, yeah, so now it is blessed, um, now we will drink out of it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> um, okay, um, yeah, this, uh, this is not an elementary school. Burping is not funny. Um, I'm sure my poor viewers are very disgusted by having to watch that. I'm gonna go put this on my desk before I accidentally spill it on the floor or something. Um, alright. Yeah, so... Poor Cardi here didn't get to see my glass. Um, I'll just have to show him some other time. Sigh. Look at him, isn't he great? I mean, yes. So anyway... We have something else here. Um, 
ASMR. I don't know, guys. Personally, I don't really understand the ASMR thing, but Peyton B really enjoys it, so that's why it's in a lot of these videos. Even though I know some of you guys find it gross, but, um... Yeah, so anyway, here we have... Um... This, this is not a chocolate bar relating to any YouTuber. <laughs> um... <coughs> um... No, this is the Caesar <laughs> Torres bar. Um... Yeah, I mean... Okay, just, I don't know, man, I, I don't know how to explain myself, um, yeah, just, just ignore cat boy Caesar, um, didn't, totally didn't see that, um, man, where's the mind wiper when I need it, okay, um, uh, yes, we will give it to Cardi here, and of course, between, you know, two, since Vitrino is our good little rabbit. Um, get the scissors here. Um, let's see. I don't know, guys. Do. Um, <laughs> this is so stupid, but, um, do you guys think that Icardi and Caesar would be friends? <laughs> I'm sorry, they, they just look really similar. Um, actually, the way that I found out about 811 is because I was looking for, um, I can't remember. It was... Oh, now I remember. I was trying to find a profile picture of Caesar Torres, right? And I accidentally stumbled across the Cardi. And uh, I was mildly confused, but I didn't think anything of it at first until I looked in the comments and I was like, wait, that's not Caesar. But now I realize it's it's better than Caesar. I don't know. That might be a controversial opinion, but and I'm sorry, but you know, if I gotta give a you know um my opinion of the better queer couple, um. And I don't know, as much as, you know, Mark and Caesar are definitely very much gay. I know what you are. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. The Man, I don't want to have to say the creator, but, like, damn, bro. Like, imagine making a piece of media... And then you're so stuck up that you won't even let people, like, ship characters together. Even though I personally think they are queer-coded. I will not argue with that. Um. Yeah, I mean, bro, at least Akardi here. You know, he is based. Because, you know, like, him and Riker... I mean, I know they haven't gotten together yet, okay? But they, damn, like, they are so clearly, like, in love. And I mean, the creator of 811 at least has confirmed that they're gonna have a sex scene in the next game. I mean, bro, I'm sorry, but the creator of the Mandela catalog hasn't confirmed that... Caesar and Mark are gonna be having a sex scene in volume five, so I don't wanna hear nothing from you guys. Okay, yeah, we got it split into two here. Um before you guys ask about Vitrino, um he gets the whole bar. Um at first let's just give some to the Cardi, um 
He, mm, I think I got my skin in the shot. Ew, hate my skin. Mmm. Man, I swear, if I have to see my damn ugly ass, awful, um, I don't know, am I allowed to say discolored? Um, damn skin of the wrong color, I'm gonna die. Uh, okay. Yeah, see, mmm, bit Man, my mind is over here, like, literally, like, leaking out of my brain, um, because I'm, I don't know, as you guys can see, I'm not very normal about my special interests, um, see, I think he likes it, all right, next we will have my piece here, um, and we will eat it, so I can give my formal opinion on it. But I'm sure if Acardi likes it, then I will like it too. Man, I got, I gotta say, I actually do like this one better than the last one. Um, then again, as you guys know, I'm nose blind, and therefore also somewhat taste blind, so. So I'm a sucker for this crunchy chocolate stuff, okay? I'm sorry, um, yeah. Now this time I will eat with my mouth closed. I don't know, man, it's, I don't know, guys, I don't know if I would buy that again, I'm gonna be honest, um, but, I don't regret buying it, I'm just saying, I probably won't, I don't even remember how much it costed, but, I kinda don't wanna know, alright, um, next we shall give Vitrino, <coughs> <coughs> No, we're not going to give Vitrino my cough. Poor fella's already been through enough. Um. There. Do you like it, Vitrino? Hmm. Do you like it? Um. He seems to like it, and he's so nice that he's offering me another bite. Ooh, boy. Time for me to take another bite. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's food, I think. Um, but fear not, guys. The pain is not over yet because we have one more thing to look at. Also, if you guys look closely in the background there, um, <coughs> no, that's not what's in the background. Now you will see Oquera um 
<laughs> I don't know, guys. Man, I'm just getting into, like, really stupid question territory, but, um, I don't know. Do you guys think that Icardi and Alquera would get along? I mean, actually, I don't really know, um, because they definitely have, um, conflicting um, ideologies, so, now, Vitrino, on the other hand, um, I don't know, I think them two would probably get along better, I mean, I just can't really explain it, but, uh, you know, they're, they look like they would, yeah, all right, but, <laughs> Now, this is totally not because I didn't want to make this a separate video. Um. <laughs> now, here we have a Nirvana shirt. Um. Yeah, this is... I got it at the... Um... Dang it, I forgot the place. Um, but if y'all watched that last, not last video, but if y'all have seen that one video that I did a while back where it was the Motley Crew and ACDC shirts, I got it at the same place. Um, I've had this shirt actually just sitting around for a month. Um, yeah, probably around a month, honestly. And I did not know when, um, I would be, sorry, I had to go throw that in the trash. Um, I didn't know when I would be making a YouTube video specifically for shirts. So I decided to just throw it in this one. Um, Mitrino looks like he likes Nirvana. He probably likes my shirt too. But, yes, uh, here it is. I really dig it. I actually have another Nirvana shirt, but it's just their logo. This, um, so, yeah, I wanted a different one, though, that actually featured the band members, you know, um, yeah, and, I don't know, man, um, here, I will, I have a confession here for a card. I'm sure he would enjoy this one, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, guys, the Nirvana shirt that I had before, the main reason I needed a new one is because the old one um, has been being used as a blood rag for um, since middle school, I think. And no, I will not give context for that. You guys can make your own interpretations, but... As most of you know, I also had a emo phase in middle school. Just just like a cardi here. He's so me OMG. Um Yeah, so make of that as you will. Um Yes, but I'm sure Cardi also would like Nirvana. Actually, then again, I I wonder what kind of music the 811 characters would look like. I mean, yeah, look like, really? No, would like to listen to, because 
I don't know, man. I mean, I have a, I have a crap ton of head cannons for Mandela catalog characters, but I actually haven't thought too much about what the eight one one characters would listen to. Uh, mainly because I don't know what time period they're in. Um, I don't know, man. A uh, uh, Cardi. Let me give it some thought here. Um, honestly, first off, I'll throw this one in the ring. Um, I think he'd like Metallica. Um, not for any particular reason. I just think he kind of gives off the vibes of just liking Metallica, you know. Probably not a dedicated listener or anything, but, uh, yes, and then, second one I'll give is, um, Kiss, because, I mean, honestly, I think Cardi would like it because, um, Kiss is cool, and Cardi is cool, um, yeah, I'm very comprehensible, um, okay, and let's see, let me think of a third one here, um, honestly, let me think here, hmm, I'm gonna think over here about, man, what did my life come to? I mean, okay. Um, hmm. I, I don't know, man. I'm, y'all can tell I'm really, I don't know, man. What if we just ask a Cardi? You know, um, You know, I think he would like Guns N' Roses just because, man, I couldn't think of Guns N' Roses, oh my gosh, I don't listen to them very much, but uh, I do like them, uh, but yeah, I think he would just because... I think he would. Um. Yes, but. <laughs> let's see here. Alright, what do we think Vitrino would listen to? Um. I don't know, as you guys can kind of tell by what I was saying for Riccardi, I think he would definitely be more into like the 90s and 2000s and stuff, but. Vitrino here, I think he'd be much more into uh, the 70s stuff, and also 80s, so first one I'll say is that he likes Van Halen, just because I love Van Halen, and I think that Vitrino would listen to Van Halen. Okay, second one I'll give him is Queen, because, I mean, I know just about everyone listens to Queen, but, uh, you know, I'm sure Vitrino would also like Queen, because Queen is amazing, just like how Van Halen is awesome, and, yeah, so, I think... Um, third one I'll give is, um, I don't care, um, Pink Floyd, because he looks like he'd listen to Pink Floyd, and, you know, I'll even throw this in too, I think his favorite album from Pink Floyd would have to be Dark Side of the Moon, 
Cause I know guys, you know, ooh, um, wasn't that their best selling album? Yes. But it is for a reason, cause I mean, damn, honestly, like it's really good. And especially the, the last and second to last song, they go together, but man, the last song, you know, that, <laughs> You know, I, I really loved it. And I'm sure Vitrino here would love it too. I don't know, man. Then again, I feel like the creator of 811 would probably be more likely to answer what kind of music um, the characters listen to. I don't know, man. I would not ask the creator of the Mandela catalog. I'm not even gonna mention him by name, but, um, yeah, I don't know, man, I'm sorry, but <laughs> creator of the Mandela catalog, like, man, she's, I, I don't, before you guys say anything, like, yes, I know the accusations and whatnot, they were, like, disproven or whatnot, but honestly, man, like, just the other stuff, though, with, like, complaining about like pro shippers which which is ridiculous if you guys think pro shippers is a problem please go outside for the love of goodness okay for for the love of god go outside okay who cares what you draw or what you like literally nobody cares it's fictional Come on, people. I hate purity culture people, but, um... Yeah, I mean, like, stuff like that, you know? And, like, the, ooh, don't draw not safe for work of my characters. Like, bro, people are gonna draw what they want, okay? Like, I'm sorry, but if people want to draw Gabriel sucking dick or, um... Caesar in a bunny suit, then they are going to draw such things. And if people want to write about Caesar getting fucked in a bunny suit, then they are in fact going to write that. I mean, really, come on now. I don't know, man. At least the creative 811 draws not safe for work. If the characters and man, all I gotta say is like like dang Vitrino like dang I don't know man I I can't even put in the words how bad I need to see Vitrino's bush. Um I'm totally normal about Vitrino's carpet. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean. I don't know, man. Speaking of normal, do y'all think a Cardi is normal? I'm. And I'm sure that he is. Just look at him. I mean, man, I'm sorry. The, the stuff about Icardi being a cannibal, though. Um, man, recently I've seen people on TikTok actually complaining about it. And it's like, guys, who cares? Stop, stop kink shaming. Precious Icardi. I mean, real... <laughs> I mean, admittedly, too, though, um, man, I don't, I don't know, um, you know, I'm just like a Cardi in the way that I totally have normal reactions to blood, but instead of me getting uncontrollably aroused, instead I uncontrollably pass out 
Um, but guys, I'm, I'm going to transition, actually, I don't know, do I want trans ID discourse on my channel? No. Um, I'm going to, um, turn into in a, um, <laughs> totally, um, socially acceptable way. I'm also going to get a paraphilia for blood, and, um, nobody can stop me. Um, and I'm sure after that, Cardi will come into my dreams and screw me again. Um... Boop. Um. Anyway. Um. I don't know, guys. Share your thoughts in the comments. Um, I think if I go on any longer, I will either get myself canceled for bringing up trans IDs, get myself canceled for saying that pro shippers are a non-issue or for complaining about certain creators quote unquote boundaries um aka stupid stuff like damn i'm sorry but i just got to bring up to like you know gabriel is like i think from the bible or something like you know come on man like really you you really read the bible and you was like oh yeah i need that in my analog horror like <laughs> i mean i know <laughs> um yeah, I know 811 also has religious imagery, but I don't know. I'd say with their imagery and like metaphors and stuff, it's not as in your face. Um, yeah, because I think some of the stuff in the Mandela catalog is definitely like a little too annoyingly obvious. Like, like, okay, guys, I'll give an example here. Like, you know, the Adam Murray and Evelyn, forgot her last name, but, um, yeah, like, come on, that's a really direct reference to Adam and Eve. Like, really? I don't know, man. And then, like, it's just stupid. <sighs> I mean, okay, honestly, you guys are probably wondering, um, my opinion on the Mandela Catalog, as much as it is my, I don't know, you want to call it special interest, whatever, um, yeah, as much as it is, though, honestly, like, I'm definitely very much more critical of it, because, I. I don't know, man. There's just a lot of things I'm not a big fan of for it. Um, there's definitely some parts which I don't like. But I mean, for 811, there's some things that I also don't like about it, but that's like very, very few. Okay, there's probably only like a couple things I don't like about it. But everything else, you know, I like and I love about it, though. Um, yeah, if you, if you for some reason, though, have gotten this far in the video and haven't played 811, you know, I, I'll recommend it. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, and if you haven't watched the Mandela catalog, um... I'm assuming a lot of you guys probably have, though, since it's... 
mildly somewhat a little bit popular. At least it was at some point. Um, I don't know. If you're interested in analog horror, sure. But I don't know. If you don't watch it, you're not missing out on much. I, I just say that. Um, yeah, sorry. You can... Um, you can crucify me for my opinions. Um, <laughs> um, Vitrino here can even watch me be crucified. Um, I'm sure him and Icardi and Juliet would probably all enjoy watching that. Which... I'm sorry, man. Before I end the video, before I end my long info dumping, okay? Um, man, I just gotta say, like, Cardi and Vitriano and Juliet, I don't know, man. They're kind of like, I don't know, can I say polyamorous coded? Um, yeah, they kind of are, bro. Like, honestly, and you know what? I'm here for it, even though. I don't think they're gonna, like, get together in the game. Especially with the Cardi. Um, wanting to get with Riker. And also not having romantic feelings anymore for Juliet. Um, yeah, I don't think they're gonna get together, though. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. Also, maybe they could have been, like, in a relationship, all three of them. Like, in the past, too. That's another thing I kind of picked up on that could have been a possibility. Um, yeah, then again, I don't know if that was the creator's intentions or if I, as someone who is a fan of polyamory, and as you guys know, I love my partners. Mwah. Um, I don't know, guys. Do you guys think I'm nuts? Because after watching this, you probably think I am. Um, but, yeah, guys, that will be the end of the video. If you like this video, give us a like. Give us a subscriber. And comment down below if um, you enjoy listening to... Autistic people be autistic. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. -bye.